The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesamento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Here's where we were yesterday, folks. If you remember, we were on the air, and I was saying we were going to buy this little pullback right here on an hourly chart here in the Treasury bonds. That came in at the 110 level. Uh, overnight, we only got as high as 110 of 15 which is a $500 I sent the video out on this in the middle of the night saying you had to have your stop below here because if we went below that we were most probably going to go down a lot lower and in fact that is in fact what we did the reasoning for this folks you can see here that we have taken out the lows of the contract from way back here on October the 6th that was that big bottom in the stock market if you remember so we did take that low out now whether that's going to be a reversal low I don't know but what I'm watching and what everybody else in the financial world seems to be watching is what's happening with the Treasury notes I would those are those are the uh, the 10 year folks and uh, 10 years and two years they're just going absolutely uh, straight up and other interest rates are just you know really skyrocketing here and but the bonds are actually held up relatively well now here is the notes I want to get this up here because you can see here that we did break and we broke down badly there was yesterday's low you see last night we took out the low by just a little bit had a nice little tiny rally and then bang down again and you know this is a huge market folks so it trades off the ABCD patterns really nicely I mean you have to trade huge amounts in order to make anything because it's only sixteen dollars per per tick but you can see on the bottom here you made some type of a of a little ABCD pattern here just a few minutes ago that when we made that low in the bonds down there at 108.25 so we have made some type of a bottom in here but frankly looking at this on a longer term for time frame folks you see we still got a possibility here which I really think we're going to get to which is here at this 104.08 in other words down another two handles from where we are right now there just doesn't have the just the notes and bonds just they just don't have any friends folks and the reason why is we've been borrowing money for so long and now people are wanting to pay it back and we got to pay it back at a higher interest rate the most embarrassing thing that's going on in the world today folks I don't know if you saw the news or not but uh, we were really rebuked by uh, the uh, Saudi Arabia's today Saudi Arabian company country uh, they basically didn't do anything for uh, President Biden as far as helping him and uh, everybody is sort of moving against uh, Israel in the war that's all politics stuff I don't really care about but the fact that uh, Saudi Arabia after all uh, all these years of us protecting them has decided now that they don't need protection and they're going their own way this is going to be the death of the petrodollar folks in other words the US dollar banked in uh, in crude oil and that is probably going to be switching over crude oil is actually a lot weaker than one would expect it to be given the fact that we have all this news that's going on let's just move this over for just a second here and we'll take a look at this one. So we'll do gold in just a minute here, but I want to do the uh, do the December crude oil here because we were watching that yesterday, if you'll remember, and we said, you know, watch for those 382 retracements. And here we are. We're moving over to the December contract now, and you'll see that last night uh, we came within um, – See, how close did we get? We got to within, uh, well, that was about 40 cents away, but I believe the larger number was right on the money. Let's just draw this one from right here to this one right here, from this high to this low. We went right up to that exactly, and then when we backed off here, this pullback, you'll notice from the low that we have to, have to redraw it because we're at a different level. We're going to go from the low from right here. There it is, right here. That would have, didn't even make the 382 retracement here. All we did on this last night, overnight, and really stop and think, this really backed off given the fact that, you know, they said that they were going to, came down to a 50% retracement, and now we're just uh, moving around. This market still looks higher, folks. It, uh, you know, it's had nothing but higher bottoms and higher tops, and I still think we're probably going to get up here at this 190 level. And looking at this on the long-term daily, 
on this, you'll see that we do have levels uh, that it could reach without too much trouble. You'll see this is the spot where we are right now, and I believe we are really close to a 61% uh, retracement of that move. And we've, in fact, we just hit a little while ago up here at 87.70 in the December. So that is, in fact, that is a, that's a Gartley sale. By the way, folks, there's a, there's your ABCD right here on the daily. Gee, I didn't realize it moved that much. There it is, right? 87.70. The high has been, uh, wow, a whole dollar higher, folks. You see why you have to risk a dollar when you're trading crude oil? Look at this. This move here is one dollar from 87.70 to 88.70 and that's why you've got to you know if you're going to do that you have to risk a buck you just can't do it for less than that because if you don't risk see if you risk a dollar you still have a profit in it if you list 60 70 cents you got out with a 600 hundred dollar loss and you still don't have any chance at all okay now let's take a look here at the big daddy rabbit that's moving everything around here let's get up here with the uh, gold market because we uh, mentioned in the overnight letter uh, excuse me, the overnight video that we had a really strong probability of hitting uh, 1972. And if we look at this on the long-term weekly chart, you're going to see where we are. There it is right here. And if we move that over just a little bit, you're going to see that that was an exact 78% retracement of this last move that we had right in here. You can see it there, 72. The high was a 74. Five even so miss it by two bucks it's trading at 66 right now now this is a huge move folks we went from 820 uh, that's a hundred and sixty dollar move here in uh, a matter of about eight trading days and uh, so we're up in the area where we should get some type of a correction so what I would be looking at here is I would be going down to the uh, four-hour chart and I want to be watching for the 382 retracements we haven't we've had one that was this one right here. There was the first one right here. There was that first 382 retracement we looked at yesterday, okay? And now we went up and we made, the, there's your 78% level right up here. So that tells us we're probably coming into some type of resistance up into this area, but still a little bit early uh, to tell that because it didn't really back off very much. If you look at this from this morning, we'll just do an eight-minute chart. You see we broke down from 76 uh, down to uh, 50, which is uh, $26. Now, that should be a 382 off of something, correct? If what we talk about is true. So we have the low back here of uh, two days ago at uh, 1920. We take that and we mark it, and the 382 comes in at uh, 55, and we went to 51. So it went a little bit below. It didn't quite hit the 50% level, and now we're rallying back strongly, and that means we're probably getting ready you know, to move to go higher. So nothing standing in the road of this one, folks. Now, silver looks a lot different. It's had a bigger correction and has backed off a little bit. But those are some of the things that we're really, uh, really, really watching here uh, today. The stock market is uh, really trying to hold together here. We'll put up the stock market here for a second. We went down, made new lows. Let's just get this out of the way here. We made new lows from our low. There's where we were yesterday. Remember that big number we were looking at right in here off of this thing right here? We went down and made that big ABCD, and now we're coming back. And what we have to calculate, Larry, when we come back. You're right, Johnny. We got to look at 382. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at this S&P over the last two days. We had that move yesterday. Remember, that was this ABCD move that we looked at. Uh, we can see it better on a four-minute, but I don't want to mess around. There was a beautiful ABCD. You can see that. Just absolutely gorgeous ABCD coming in right here. Uh, then we had one other one that was right here. Really, really a beauty. Now, this is an eight-minute. What I'm going to do now is go down to a four-minute to show you why it was so important because if you – stretched it out you can see there's your beautiful a b c d pattern coming in here right now and that came down we had another a b c d pattern coming in right there and look what we just did folks we just had a 28 handle rally 29 handle rally in the s p and remember one of the things we want to do is we want to go back to our last big high which way back here and see if that measures to that little old number that Johnny's got there on his flashcard up there. He's holding it up. And there it is. 43.78. That's been the high of the move so far. And it's also 61% retracement of this last move that we had right there. So if we start getting above there, this rally could extend farther. But until that happens, boys and girls, uh, we're still heading lower because uh, all you did was just make a really nice move to the upside there's your 61 there's your 382 that was the area you want to be selling if you sold that you stop now it'd be 4380 you'd basically be in it with a free trade so that's what we're paying attention to here right now looking at this on the long term daily uh, you know you can see we really haven't done very much at all considering there's war in the Middle East I mean not very much has happened really it's uh, you know the market's been going sideways in fact if it does have a uh, movement to the downside you can see here we have a really nice ABCD coming in here a little bit lower I think a four-hour chart would probably highlight that really nicely and there it is there's what we'd be watching so we didn't even take out the lows of the 13th yet folks that's a pretty good deal you know <laughs> so this is what we'd be watching possibly if the war and believe me folks if Iran comes into it all bets are off because uh, then you're talking about uh, and, and you know this is all all political stuff, folks, that you're dealing with here because of the fact that, uh, you know, these people have been fighting for 3,000 years and they're not going to they're not going to change this overnight. The big thing is, is the fact that Saudi Arabia uh, has gone with the uh, move to the side of Iran, which is uh, very unfortunate for us. 
and I think unfortunate for them. But there again, I'm off my soapbox, Johnny. I won't say another word, but keep keep in mind that's that's important stuff that's going on. The other thing, folks, what you're seeing in the news, believe about three percent of it, and the other ninety-seven percent, forget about. And then even forget about the 3% you just heard, because I don't believe any of the stuff that's coming across there. What people see in the UK and what people see here are totally different. It's just really, uh, it's really amazing to see uh, the difference of what's going on uh, on these things that we're paying attention to. Okay, now let's go back and we'll take a look here quickly uh, on the, uh, I want to put my limit minder in here on the S&P here for just one second. Just give me one second here so I can make sure I put my limit minder on and not make sure this thing doesn't get out of control here. Okay, now we'll move up here and uh, we want to move on to the next one, which was the, uh, <clears throat> hold on one second. I want to give you a heads up here on the soybean market because we have a real interesting pattern here last night in soybeans. You know, we've been watching it. And if we take up the daily chart here in soybeans, <clears throat> we hit the high uh, last night. We went right up to the 382 retracement. Remember, we were looking for that big bottom down in here, and we rallied up. And the high that we made last night was at 310. It went right to 310, and it stopped right there. That was your 382 retracement. So as long as so – and remember, this is a one, two, three, four, five-day rally, so we should get a pretty good correction in that. Right now, it's trading at uh, 1304, and your stop, if you sell this, it's got to be right above 1312. So you're risking about seven cents, and if it's right, you know, you should get a pretty good move, uh, one would think, uh, to the downside. Now, we've had a request to take a look at silver. Get them. I've got several requests here this morning, which uh, makes my job just a tiny bit easier. And uh, hold on one second, get the silver up here. Where, here's where we are with the silver. Silver weakened uh, quite a bit to the gold. You can see here, uh, there's silver right now. Silver is just, see, silver to me is in a sale zone, folks. This is a, this is a sale, and I'll tell you why. There's your high, there's your low, and you're setting right at your 382 right now at 2308. So I am going to sell it at 2308. And I'm going to put a stop at 2320. I'm going to risk 12 cents is what I'm going to do. Now, the gold has rallied all the way back past the 618 retracement. So it's much stronger. Silver's weaker. So that's why I'm, I'm, willing to, uh, I'm willing to sell it. Okay, now let's see if this low right here was a 382 off of anything. And if you go back here, the last low we have, you can see right here, this one is a 61% retracement. That's a, that's a third grade question right here. There's your 382 that comes in exactly, almost exactly at your 61% retracement. But this is the one we want to see because if that's at the 382, I don't think selling it here would be a good idea. So let's just move over here and we'll go from this high up to this low. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent to the exact ticker Oak. Look at that, boys and girls. You can't make this up. And there you go. Let me get out of this right now. I'm just going to take a point and a half or a $75 loss in the silver and just get out of Dodge. So hold on one second while I take care of this. Okay, that's done. $75 out the window. Don't want to mess with that. That was a perfect 382. Gee, you talk about this stuff. Why didn't you buy it down there? That only had 38 cents in it, for heaven's sakes. Okay, let's move on here to the next one that we want to take a look at, which is uh, – NVIDIA. I've been asked for a question about NVIDIA. We talked about it yesterday, the fact that that uh, 425 was a very, very important uh, spot level. We'll get this up here, NVIDIA, get the daily up because I know we went below that and we were talking about it yesterday. Here's where we are right now. Okay. Now, if you remember, this is what we hit yesterday. If you remember, we had that really strong rally right here. And all we were doing is when we were looking at that, we said this should be important support, and you can see it was not. So all we wanted to do yesterday, looking at that, going down to, let's say, a 30-minute chart, we'll be able to see the rally. There's the rally from 425. You see the rally came right up to this level right here. Now let's just see where it was off the last high from the high up here that we made at the 475. The 382 came in at uh, 44. The high was uh, 47, and we're now trading at 422. That tells us that we've got another ABCD coming down in NVIDIA down here at around 410. And, of course, uh, you know, that still has great uh, fundamentals behind it. But right now, 
the technicals are taking care of it. So we should get down to this level of around 410 here in, in, in NVIDIA. And if we look at this on the little bit longer time frame on the daily, you'll see that is below 410 is going to be down here. Know these old bottoms. And that means we've got a big potential A, B, uh, C, D uh, to the downside here. So I'm uh, looking at that uh, to see if that means anything. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But uh, that's what we're looking at here from the cheap seats here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I got a couple of requests here, but before we get to the uh, one is on Morgan Stanley, but I wanted to get this chart up here of the natural gas. Remember, we were looking for a 382 to hold here at 0607. We didn't. We went all the way down to 02, and then we rallied from 02 all the way up. To, we only rallied 13 bucks, which is not very much. We took out the previous day's high. All I want to do now is to go down to a 13 minute to show you where we were. There was a high we were the other day at 44. And you can see all the way down, we were watching these, you know, for the ABCDs. We finally got one. There's your A, B, C, D happening right now. We'll just draw it in so you'll be able to see it. There's A, 
B, C, D. Now, what we need to do is to check to see if it happened to be a 382 off of that high we made back here on the 12th. And if you go from your high down to your low, you'll come in, you'll see that it misses it by quite a bit. The high was a 16. Uh, wow, it didn't miss it by much. Misses it by $1.70. So it came pretty close, but we didn't. Now what we've done here recently is just move around to the downside. It's still it's still working lower. It's it's bearish all the way. Look, after we made the high, you have the little bit of a rally, a little bit of a rally. It just keeps going down, probably making 382 retracements as we go. There's your high, just like in the S&P, hit it again. Boom, down again. So that's really what you're what you're trying to look at, folks. It doesn't always work, but when it does work, it keeps working until it doesn't work anymore, and that's the real key. Now, on I think this is Wednesday on Monday show, someone had a comment about Morgan Stanley because one of the uh, the little uh, gr uh, young uh, investment counselors there at uh, Bloomberg, not Bloomberg, on CNBC was incredibly bullish on Morgan Stanley. I believe it was Friday because earnings were coming out today. And she had her, you know, she and two of the guys there saying, look, you can't go into the earnings because the stock is going down and there's no reason to really do that. And she says, no, I think it's going to be fine. And here, I just wanted to show you what happened. I'm, hey, look. I make so many mistakes. Uh, uh, I, I don't need. I don't need to be helped at all. But look at Morgan Stanley. This is this is where she was buying it right here. You'll see. This is where she was buying it here. This was on the uh, uh, the twelfth. So that would have been last Thursday. Okay. It had a nice move. Well, not it moves three dollars. And then look what happened. Earnings came out today, and were really bad. Now. All we were doing is we were looking at the pattern that was here in Morgan Stanley. You can see there's your first little Gartley right here from the high. And this is a daily, so you get to see quite a bit here. There's your – goes right up to the 50% uh, level, okay? And then we start to break, and as you can see, as we start to come down, it gives you a pretty good idea of what direction it wants to go here. Look at this, look at this little rally right here. You rally for five days, and I don't even believe you could even make a 382 retracement. Uh, no, you couldn't. It misses it by about $2, which is really quite bearish. And, of course, here it looks really great yesterday, and then today the earnings come out not so good. But now this is where you want to be looking at it from the long side. Here's your, here's your long-term picture since May. Look at this. I mean, you've got a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern coming in right here. Uh, let's just measure to see how close I can tell you right now that it's beyond the ABCD just because I can see the 1.5 right here. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg comes in here at 76. We're trading at 74 and your 1.27 comes in at 74.36. So this is the ballpark of uh, where you want to be watching it. There's your there's your fail. So, oh, here's why we're coming down. Look at this. We're really close to those lows in last July. That's only, well, we get below here, folks. Uh, all bets are off. This is why uh, this was this was the place to look at it. But boy, it gapped down, and that's not a that's not a good thing. I just like looking at that silver trade. Don't want to even begin to look at that because it's sniffing at this area here is what it's going for, and the fact that the market's still bearish. That's telling us that, my, my goodness, it looks like we're probably going to be going a, a little bit lower as of yet. All right. One other one that someone asked about was Apple. Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, uh, they said they heard the Bloomberg saying it was one of the most bearish charts on all of Wall Street. And I uh, I really took I, – I took the other side of this, folks – it, of all the stocks that look out there, Apple looks actually better than most. Let's just get here and take a look at it. Look at it. It's still up on the day. With the market down 200 and some points, we got Apple still up. Look at this. This hardly backed off at all. Morgan Stanley's down here. Goldman Sachs is down here. Look where Apple is. All Apple's been able to do here over the past few days, we've had a sell-off of one, two, three, four, five days. We went to that level. Let's go to the four-hour chart, and we'll see where we went to. Where'd we go? We're right to the 50% level. This isn't a bearish chart. Hello, operator. The bearish chart is the one that's taken out these lows. That's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking with it. Okay, let's move on here. And another question that someone asked was about the wheat. So let's get the wheat up here. Take a quick look at the old wheat. Uh, they've been beating wheat up pretty good, but I think it's been rallying today. 
Let's give me one second here and we'll get it up here. Wheat starts with a W, doesn't it? There you go. And we'll get this up here. Now we're having a little bit of move to the upside. Not much today, just a little bit. Here's where we are. Blowing it up so we can see it, uh, so everybody can take a look. There was the bottom. There was your 78% level. We, we talked about that one before. And now that tells us that most probably we're going to be getting an ABCD rally in a bear market here. In the, oh, we already hit it. It made it yesterday, uh, right up there at 87. We backed off, didn't really do very much. In fact, this could be very important. Let's just look at this from a uh, from a standpoint of retracements. After the high came in, we retraced right here. And if we measure from the low, where we like to measure, you'll see that that low stopped right there. And today's low matched the 382 retracement, and it rallied another 12 cents. This tells me, this tells me that we are going higher in the wheat, probably up into this area, right up into here, uh, right around 907. We could rally another 27 cents higher. Just the fact that this held the 382 the first day and even the second day. Moving down to a smaller time frame on this, to go to the 60 minute. There it is right there. There's your 382 that we were just looking at. We'll just clean all this out so all the folks can see what we're doing from your low up to your high. There it was right there. Matched it uh, today. This is where we are right now. Looks like to me we're still moving higher up here to this uh, 609, I believe was the number, uh, of this larger ABCD. Let's see where we're probably going to be headed anyway. That's the first one. We've already made that, so that means we're going to go up to the second one. It's going to take us up to this level right up here, 609. So that's what I'll be looking at. Another 27 cents higher in the uh, wheat, possibly. That could be a really interesting one. So that's what we're paying attention to. I hope that helps. Anyway, I don't see anything negative about this. The stock market's down 300, was down 300 points almost, and Apple is up uh, $2 on the day. You, you tell me that's bearish? Hello, operator. I mean, that to me is not bearish. I mean, well, that's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking with it. Let's see how we're doing with the time here. Uh, don't try to call in today, folks. Uh, TFNN alerted me to the fact that all the lines are busy. Uh, they've just been they've been they've been so busy that they've actually had to disable it today. So you're not going to be able to call in today, but maybe tomorrow, if you start calling in at around 5 a.m. Uh, Florida time, you might be able to get in early, but you know, who knows? Things are so busy that you just never know when they're going to call in or not. Let's see how we're doing here with time here. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level introducing tom o'brien's award-winning newsletter market insights your key to successful active trading tom o'brien renowned for his expertise in the financial markets has designed market insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades tom publishes his daily market insights newsletter every market day before the market open along with updates when warranted stay ahead of the game with tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out market insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, someone asked a question if I would look at the 382s on the Dow Jones and also on the NASDAQ. And if you'll, this is the Dow Jones, a high, high we made yesterday. Okay, so I just go from my high down to the low that we made. And you can see the 382 came in here, up here about a, another 200 points ago in the Dow. The Dow's backed off a little bit. So now what we'll do is we'll look at it on the NASDAQ also just to check and see how it's doing. Don't usually trade this, but I will check it for you folks. And since we're doing that, we might, might as well check on the uh, the Russell also. So here is the NASDAQ. Move it over here. Well, this NASDAQ has really gotten hit pretty hard. Now, there was the high in the NASDAQ from yesterday. Okay, so we want to see if it made the 382 right here. This would have been the rally we just looked at. So if we go from our high right back here and put the low right in, and there was the 382 right here and uh, that was at 51.62 it's dropped about 80 handles from that level and since we're in the mood we'll just take a look at the old Russell and it's been the one that's been actually uh, been beaten up pretty badly here these last few days there was a the rally yesterday well this thing didn't even uh, this thing didn't even come close to a 382 of anything uh, there's the high right here uh, the 382 on the Russell would have been uh, right here. We didn't get that. We might have made it from this one here. Let's just double check. No, it didn't even make it from either one of those. That just shows you the Russell. This Russell, folks, look at this Russell weekly chart. This thing, I mean, if we start getting below here, folks, uh, I'm afraid what's going to be happening. Now, um, I just had a call right before the uh, – uh, show came on today from Tom Hugard and Tom's going to try to be our guest next week uh, but the thing that I'd like to rem remind her we're going to be doing a seminar together uh, on the 29th of February and March 1st and 2nd of this coming year uh, and it's going to be in Las Vegas Nevada I'll let you know more about that it'll be live trading uh, 20 hours of live trading over three days and uh, we've got some uh, going to be a lot of fun let's take a look here now and we'll I want to get up here to uh, look at the next one that I wanted to look at, which is one of the reasons why the Dow Jones is so very, very strong. Let me get this, uh, let me get, uh, excuse me, so very, very weak. I wanted to show you folks, this is the Dow Jones transportations that we're looking at. This is goods moving, okay? This is not, you know, stuff for sale or stuff like that. This is good moving. Look at this. You know, we have, we're getting ready to break below here. Uh, I mean, we're at real critical levels here. We start getting below here. All this was, this was what that belongs right there. Sorry. So we had the nice little rally. There's your 382. The fact that it's not collapsing is a pretty good sign. We've been here for one, two, three, four, five, six days holding this level. So that's why uh, we're at real critical levels here on this Dow Jones transportation. There's your ABCD from your low up to your high. You're setting at the uh, below. There's the 1.618. Look how many times we have to close. We start closing below here, folks. This is going to be pretty nasty. We had a really good rally yesterday that went up to the 78% level, and then it gave it back. But it's really trying to hold. It really is. That's uh, that's one of the keys. But remember, we were looking at banking stocks through our friend uh, Jim Bartolioni. Let's get those up here so we can take a look at these. These are the regional banks. They're actually holding up relatively well compared to the rest of the market. They're down today, but not by much. 
you'll see here uh, we have the ABCD to the downside right here. We had the ABCD to the upside. Let's just see how close we came to the actual uh, spot on number. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg, D leg. Uh, how much did we miss it by? Uh, heartbeat. See, 4311 was a number. We got to 43, 4294, missed it by 20 cents. And now we're in the midst of going sideways, but not collapsing yet. That's actually a pretty good sign. It really is. Now, the other part of this is because of the bond market is so very, very important. And, you know, we thought it had a bottom, but, you know, maybe it's today. Who knows? But let's take a quick look here at the uh, HYG, which is the uh, high-grade bonds. That's what we want to see if that's holding up because, ooh, it's back at the lows again. See, if we start getting below here, folks, we've already started to break down badly. And remember on this weekly chart, this has uh, some really negative stuff as we run below here and we're starting to break down more. Now, the market in the bonds and the notes is so very oversold. It doesn't have any friends. I can't even remember the last time I've seen a market that has so few friends. I think I was the last friend yesterday and uh, you know, gave him $200 for my friendship. And so I decided to wait a little bit to see what's going on. Let's get rid of this, and I want to get back and take a look at the bond market here just a second here. And we'll be moving right back here, get rid of the transports. We should be okay. Get rid of the Russell, should be okay. NASDAQ, it just made new lows on the day. Let's see, the Dow Jones did not make new lows on the day. Let's see if the old stop and move. Um, uh, no, it didn't make new lows on the day yet, but it's still a little tad early, so... That's what we're watching right here. So while we're watching now, in fact, see if we can get above here, if we can get above 382 of the daily range from the high down to the low. And remember, we made a very quick rally, folks. That was 30 handles. We went from 50 to 78. That's 28 handles right at the 382. Okay, now as long as we stay below that, it looks like we've got another leg to the downside on this because we start making new lows. You've got your AB leg right here. CD leg right here, you're going to get down. Whoops, that didn't draw it right. Hold on one second. From your high down to the low. All right, that's where we are right here. 43.37, we should get down to that level. And that is really important looking at the long-term daily because now we're getting down to this level here. Remember this 43.30, 43.29? There's our big ABCD coming in here. That's going to be one you got to pay attention to. Forget that stuff about... no. I don't want to say something. Uh, I was going to say, forget the stuff about the war. Don't forget about the war. That's important. But by golly, look at the charts. You know, we've seen these things rally in, in the view of uh, all kinds of bad news. So, you know, stick with the charts. That's basically all I can do. I, I don't know anything else to tell you other than that. I hope that helps. Uh, <laughs> we'll see whether it means very much or not. But that's what we're paying sort of attention to here, here today. So let's look at it. Let's get back here to crude oil because... It's just not, uh, there it is right here. See, it's already backed off now from that high right here. If we move down to that smaller time frame, you see we came down. There was your there was your Gartley pattern right here. Your ABCD measured, ABCD measured uh, ooh, right up there. 74 was the number, and it's backed off uh, from that level. And you'll see that's what we were paying attention to. Uh, right here when the show happened just a little about a half hour ago that actually worked pretty good made a couple of bucks there if you did, did that one anyway that's pretty much it i want to check and see if i that silver trade that i did and took a 75 dollar loss on would have worked i doubt it but let's just double check just for kicks and giggles and uh that's it and we'll be looking here right here yeah, it's about the same it got up to 12 this right there i've been selling it 08 no big deal Okay, that's uh, pretty much it. We've got to take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn, will be coming back in 15 seconds and 40 minutes and $11. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here of the E-mini S&P here. We had the 382 retracement up here. So all I want to be doing now for the rest of the time that you'll be watching this Watch to see if it makes another 382 retracement up here at around uh, 63. We're trading at 61 right now. Now, the key here is uh, you watch uh, 43.63 because if we start getting above 43.66, there's a real strong probability you could be looking at a major ABCD rally here, 30, another 35 points or so up into this area. So the key level to watch is 43.63. And 43.70. So 43.70 is your, uh-oh, look out, dodge. Uh, get out of dodge. That's where I'd be watching, 43.70. But watch the number, 43.63. Now, that's short term, but these things work on different time frames. The patterns never change. This is right out of Mandelbrot's work, you know, with uh, uh, fractals. And so that's uh, the key of why these things uh, jump around the way they do. And these folks that are doing these algorithmic stuff, they absolutely know what's going on. Now, I'm hoping to have Tom Hugard as our guest tomorrow. I'll know later today in about 30 minutes. And if he is, we'll have him on tomorrow. And he has been uh, bearish for quite some time. And we'll find out what his feeling is on the market and some of the other things he might share from his fabulous book, a bestseller over there in the UK, uh, The Best Loser Wins. Absolutely fabulous book. So that's what we're watching here today, folks. So tomorrow... We'll be back on the air at the same time, 1 o'clock Eastern time, as always, from the offices of 
100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Suite 101. If you're ever in the area, stop by and visit us. Area code 215-546-0077, and that's our phone number. Miss Ophelia will be taking all calls and making appointments for lunch. If you'd like to have lunch, we'll be happy to take you to lunch if you're here in the Philadelphia area in the near future. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thank you.